Hi, welcome to the demo of Seller Board's keyword management functions. So, um, as you probably know, Seller Board has a PPC module and um, it includes basically three uh, features. So, uh, the first one is the profitability and the analytics feature for your PPC campaigns. So, here you can see uh, your profit and loss basically by campaign. So, uh, like on the top here, we see the last 30 days and you can see the sales, number of uh, PPC triggered. Uh, orders, um, but also things like Amazon fees and your estimated profit. So uh, in this case, all our campaigns made us $680 in profit. So this is one part. The second part is the uh, key, uh, the bid automation. So um, seller board can make bid recommendations and optimize your campaigns to meet your specific um, profit goals per campaign or even per keyword. And um, for that, we have a separate video. And the third part of the PPC module is um, the keyword automation. So with the keyword automation, you can basically automatically move keywords from one campaign to another to do keyword harvesting and also to optimize your um, keywords um, and um, do some other automation, like put the keyword on negative if a certain criteria is met. So let me show you how this looks like here in Stellar So if we go to the PPC menu and um, scroll to the bottom of this page, we can see all the campaigns here. And um, there are two columns here with bid recommendations and keyword recommendations. And if there are any recommendations, then um, you will see um, basically a number here. So on the third campaign here, we have three keyword recommendations. And um, let me show you what they are. And then I'll show you how to configure uh, the, the parameters for, for uh, the keyword automation. One important thing is this automation status. Um, you can see most of the campaigns are off. So there is no automation involved. And uh, the second status is test, which means you can test seller board. Seller board will make recommendations, but they will not be applied unless you um, apply them manually. So you can review the recommendations and apply them. And the third status is on, which means it's completely on autopilot. It doesn't require your manual approval. So if we expand this campaign here, you can see there is one um, group in the campaign. It's called auto. Uh, well, it's actually not a group. It's because this campaign is an automated uh, automatic campaign. And um, under uh, auto, you can see all the um, keywords. And um, this is an example. So um, the, the numbers might not be 100% accurate or might not uh, like may set, make sense, but we, we try to make, sure, to make sure that they do make sense. Um, so yeah, you, you can see the keywords here. And actually under every keyword, you can see the search terms. Uh, so uh, per keyword, you um, and also for search term, you can explore the ad spend and uh, the average CPC. Uh, you can see the ACOS and the profit you're making on this keyword. Um, and um, if you have keyword automation rules um, deployed, then a seller board will, will make recommendations here. So you can see we have two recommendations for this keyword and one for this. So now let's click um, actually on the recommendations at the top level, at the level of the campaign and uh, see what they are. So here seller board makes three recommendations. Uh, first one is um, add this keyword to the negative list because there were no sales after 10 clicks. And this is something that you can configure and I will show you how in a moment. But uh, basically it, it's, a, it's a text explanation of what seller board um, recommends and uh, the reason why. And um, then the same here, add search term ornament gift. So you have an automated campaign and it generates clicks uh, based on this search term. And uh, as you know, in the automated campaigns, uh, Amazon, recommends or proposes the keywords, right? Um, but um, in this case, we, we just get clicks here, but no sales. So um, you wanna probably move this keyword to negative because um, it seems not to be relevant. So uh, once we do that, um, you're gonna stop wasting money on, on this keyword and um, basically get a better ACUS. And then there's a third recommendation. It recommends to move this keyword to, to another campaign and um, another group under this campaign and add this keyword to negative in the automated campaign because um, it has already more than five orders. And basically what this means is, uh, is keyword harvesting. So the strategy behind it is you run an automated campaign and um, once you notice a keyword that performs well because there were more than five orders with, within the last 14 days in this case, um, you move this keyword to a manual campaign and start optimizing the budget or the, the, the bid for this keyword in a separate campaign um, to basically to uh, make the best out of it, to, to reach the uh, best possible ACUS on this keyword. So it's keyword harvesting. Um, and uh, just one quick remark, you can see this one and this one are the same, but um, never mind. Um, it's because this is demo data. So in the real um, environment, 
you you would probably not have these two recommendations um, at the same time. All right, so basically we can accept them um, individually or we can accept them all and um, then they're sent to uh, to the seller central to, to the advertising console and apply it in your Amazon seller account. So now um, let me show you how to configure the automation rules. So if you click on uh, these three dots here and, and press edit, then um, we can we can configure our automation. And uh, the first thing you choose is the status. And as you can see, there are three statuses here. Um, one is called the, the most like automated one is called on. Uh, all recommendations are applied automatically to complete autopilot. And here we are in this test phase um, uh, where seller boards calculates the, the recommendations but doesn't apply them automatically and off means there will be no recommendations and um by the way if you uh, run on uh, on autopilot here you can still review the changes that seller board made and if you don't uh, like like one of them you can go ahead and change the parameters or like turn the automation off um yeah so uh yeah we have two uh, tabs here one is about bid automation and um for that we have a separate video and as you can see all the logic here is disabled so Celebrate is not going to make any bit uh, recommendations for this campaign because in this example we're only talking about keyword automation and uh, let me walk you through this tab now so um, there are two rules here move a bad performing search term to negative and basically move a well performing search term to another campaign as a keyword so the first one means that uh, that you typically do in an in an auto campaign, but you can also apply it to a normal campaign. Um, it's a kind of a, um, an airbag. So if you have a bad performing uh, search term, which keeps um, generating expenses, but um, does not generate any sales, um, then, then this rule will just put it on negative to, to stop wasting money. And here you can uh, configure the number of uh, clicks. So in this case, uh, we say if there are no sales after 10 clicks, then uh, moves the search term to negative. So 10 clicks means a conversion rate of roughly 10%. So if you have, if your conversion rate is roughly 10% on uh, PPC, then um, you should get one sale after 10 clicks. Um, if you make this number low, then um, um, you're gonna, chances are that you're gonna not uh, waste money, but uh, maybe you will get rid of some keywords that are potentially good if you give them a little bit more time. So um, the second rule here is um, about well-performing keywords or search terms rather. So a uh, seller board looks at search terms and if they perform well, according to the criteria that we set here, uh, we put the keyword on negative in the original campaign and create it as a keyword in another campaign. So we edit the negative in the auto campaign, for example, if it's keyword harvesting that, that we're talking about and um, we create it in a separate campaign um, as, a, as, a key, as a keyword. And here you can specify the parameters. So the most obvious one and the default option is number of orders. So if we had five orders for a specific keyword within the last 14 days, then it's qualified to be moved to a, to be upgraded, so to say, right? To be moved to another campaign. But you can also um, specify some other criteria here, like conversion rate or um, ACUS, if an ACUS is smaller than 20%, for example, or if you have a profit, right? So after, um, like within 40, if, if a keyword is profitable within the last 14 days, um, so say if profit um, more than zero, right? Then um, you might want to move it to another campaign. But let's let's stay with orders for now. So um, yeah, and then next, basically you configure the target for for this uh, keyword for the search term. So this, the keyword is going to be created in this campaign, and um, then we pick this group, uh, and uh, and then two more parameters are the match type. So here you select how you want the match type to be in the new um, in the new campaign, new group, and uh, what the bid should be. And um, for the bid, uh, we can stay with default, which will mean uh, the default bid for uh, the target group will be used. So this this group that we're our target group it probably has it or it, it does it always has a default um, bid. And um, if you if you set the, the new bid to default and seller board will basically not set any bid and the bid from the group level will be used. But you can also go ahead and set a custom bid. Um, so this is gonna be an amount in um, dollars or euros depending on or, or whatever currency you're using. Um, then uh, seller board will set this bid. And um, basically from there, you can go ahead and um, 
optimize the, this campaign, your target campaign, using the bid automation feature. So uh, Sellerboard will then go ahead and find the right bid to reach your, your goals. Yeah, so um, once we've configured all that, we can um, apply the settings and um, we can um, we can enable the campaign if we want. We put it on autopilot or put it on test and review the recommendations uh, next couple of days. And if you like them, then um, and you find if you find yourself always accepting solar board recommendations, then then you can move the status to to on. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you have any questions, post them below. Um, see you soon. Bye bye.